Since the Second World War, our IQ scores were increasing. With every generation, there was a gradual increase in our intelligence. But for those born in the 1970s, it seemed we reached a peak of our IQ, and we seem to have been in steady decline since then. So why is that? Perhaps it's not really our individual IQs that matter. So what exactly is collective intelligence? The C factor, as neuroscientists call it, is really how well groups of people can learn together and problem solve together, how they can solve puzzles. And to be able to harness that intelligence in an effective, innovative way, this C factor, this collective intelligence, is really important. So how does communal thinking or collaboration affect our individual brains? If you and I were working together and we both had our brains hooked up to an EEG machine so that we were analysing electrical activity within our brains, if we were working together well, we were really solving puzzles and thinking in unison, then actually our brain waves would start to synchronize. They'd start to become in step with each other. And that degree of brain synchronicity can actually be used to predict how well a group is working together. If we look people in the eye directly, then that increases the chance that we'll get brain synchronicity. If we sing together or if we exercise together, that also seems to help boost brain synchronicity. And there's even studies that show that our brain health relies on this ability to synchronize with other people's brains so that it helps to protect us against longer term illnesses of the brain like dementia or Alzheimer's. So at the moment we're faced with a number of existential challenges and we really urgently need all brains on deck. So how can we use collective intelligence in order to do just that? Well, the number one factor that can predict how well a group will solve a puzzle isn't the individual IQ members of that group, it's actually gender ratio. So the higher the number of females in a group, generally speaking, the better that group will be able to harness that true cognitive capacity that's available to them. So, is there anything that's just been written out of the Y chromosome, if you like? No, it's thought that actually what's happening is that generally speaking, females, due to cultural stereotypes, practice from a very young age how to take turns, how to listen to each other. And that helps them to gather that collective intelligence that's available to them as a group. So the number one thing that we can do for our next generation is to instill in young boys, as well as young girls, this ability and this appreciation for listening to each other and having great teamwork for success. At the same time, there have been neuroscientists that have been working over the last few decades making phenomenal breakthroughs in neuroengineering. Now, we're able to take a donor brain, so a donor that's learned something, a particular skill, and take the electrical signature, the electrical oscillations of that learned skill, and imprint it onto a recipient's brain so that that recipient can learn that skill that bit quicker. Its brain has been electrically primed with that memory. Now, those studies actually took place in rodents rather than humans, but there's been some amazing breakthroughs in terms of humans being able to communicate directly with each other, just picking up electrical signals through their brain and then transferring it via magnetic signals into a donor brain so that they can communicate with each other. So really the question is, how do we want our future to look? Do we want our descendants to be able to share their experiences with each other? For example, in the legal setting, if a victim was able to emotionally share what their memory of an experience was with the jury, with the judge, would that be helpful? Is our future society going to look more like a, a beehive where individual members are interconnected with unison and consensus? And underpinning all of this science of collective intelligence is really our ability to think not just in the short term, not to be focused on immediate gratification, but instead we need to be motivated by thinking of the success of our species and of our descendants for generations to come.